Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm Mark Fisher. I'm Megan Fuller. Megan, we talked a couple of weeks ago about the NACO rig. Right. Good and, job pronouncing it. <laughs> and not Nico, NACO, right? NACO. Um, and there were a couple of things. There, there was one thing that I didn't mention in that video that I want to cover. And then I've also got a little DIY hack that I want to show everybody. So stick around. And when we come back, we're going to go through those two things on the NACO rig. All right, Megan, so we're back. We're gonna talk about the NACO rig. Okay. There was one thing that I didn't cover when we were talking about it. Remember, I was talking about, I'm just going to use this Cinco as an example. Remember, we, we covered the fact that the Cinco has a weight in it, and it runs along the bait like that. And then there was that collar, mm -hmm. that rubber collar that the hook went through, and that's how it right. moved the bait along. And you also remember from other things that we've done, sometimes if you're taking a Cinco, for example, and you're wacky rigging it, you might also use this O-ring. Mm -hmm. and put that o-ring on the bait to work a wacky rig right so we we had the o-ring and we had the the nako rig collar um and what i didn't cover in that video was how did i put those on there are a couple of different ways to do this and one of the tools that i didn't explain and that i want to today is this tool that is made by Rapala, and it's just a pliers, and you see that it is actually spring-loaded so that when I push in, it opens there. And so by putting the O-ring on the tool and then pushing in, it opens the O-ring up. Now I can take the bait and feed it through. I'm not gonna try and let the bait do it on its own. I'll feed it through. And then wherever I want that, now I just slip that O-ring off, open up the tool, and I've got my O-ring on. Okay. That's pretty nifty. And I can I can use that for a NACO rig or for a wacky rig if I'm using a an O-ring on a Cinco or some kind of wacky rig bait. But this thing looks kind of cool and expensive how much was it yeah uh, it's probably about 18 bucks if you buy it mm. somewhere like that yeah it's a me tool i don't mind having it to be honest but there's an old-fashioned tool that i've had for years okay and i've used this on my cinco's when i was putting o-rings on my cinco's and you just slip the cinco in take your o-ring down the tube and then slide it down the tube and again you've got your o-ring on there and it just sl slips in and out okay. okay all right so here's the second thing that i wanted to talk about what i've done is i've kind of just made my own do-it-yourself o-ring tool Okay. And you can see that all I did was take a Sharpie pen. I, you know, we use Sharpies all the time uh, in fishing. Sometimes the head of a bait will get kind of scratched up and we'll, you know, color in the bait or the, the head on the bait, maybe a chatterbait blade. And I want to change the color on that. And you do it on line too, Yep, right? good, good. Yep, uh, if I've got braided line, I might use a Sharpie to blacken the line if I'm uh, pitching or flipping with braided line. Nice job. Um, and so I found a Sharpie that had run out. Okay. And all I did was I got a hacksaw, cut the tip part off. And I don't know if you know this, but in a Sharpie, all the inside part of a Sharpie is, is a, a felt cartridge that has all the ink in it. Mm -hmm. And so I took the the Sharpie, I cut that off with a hacksaw, got a, a needle nose pliers, pulled out the the felt, and so now I've got the back part of the Sharpie, which is the right size, okay. 
drilled a little pilot hole, got a screw, put it in. And so now what I can do is I can take these O-rings and just put them on the screw. They hold there in my box. And then when I need one, slide it down, put it in. And okay. it works just as well as one that I paid eight or nine dollars for. And I've got kind of my own do-it-yourself O-ring tool. That's really cool. Guys, we appreciate you tuning in. Uh, as always, if you like today's tip, uh, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. We would definitely appreciate that. We are getting close to 750 or right in that area. We have a goal of trying to get to 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Uh, we would definitely appreciate that. And guys, uh, tomorrow is Underwater Wednesday. Yep. So we look forward to that episode. We will be featuring the Hover Rig by Core Tackle and showing you everything that that new bait and new technique, quite honestly, hover strolling has to offer the fishing world. So we'll see you again tomorrow on Mark Fisher Outdoors. Stay channeled.